So next up, we have David Johnston, who is the head of DLTX, which is one of our largest storage providers. So everyone give a big shout out to David here. And David's going to be talking about building dApps on Filecoin, which is fitting because David is credited at least as being the inventor of the term dApp. I don't know if that's, is that, can you confirm or deny? I, I can confirm. <laughs> okay, okay, confirm, okay. Um, so amazing. So um, do you have slides? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, if you want to go handheld, or you can go from the podium. Oh, here you go. Perfect. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Thanks so much, David. Appreciate it. Hey, guys, I'm glad to uh, close us out here strong. Uh, appreciate Filecoin for hosting us here today. Um, honestly, this is like a dream come true for me because I remember in 2013, we were imagining that we'd have a decentralized cloud and now it's here, right? And the ability to build full decentralized applications with the FVM and the EVM, for me, is sort of the last piece that we needed to enter that whole part of the stack, right? So yeah, back in 2013, I wrote the white paper on decentralized applications. And similar to Tom's definition, I basically said, we need four things, right? For it really to be decentralized, you needed to be peer-to-peer, -peer, open source, a blockchain backend, and importantly, a token. Right, that's what really made these systems independent is their ability for the software to pay for its own hardware. Right, and this was a bit of heresy at the time because there's a lot of Bitcoiners told me there could only be one true coin, but I'm glad people have kind of come around to the idea that we can have different network effects, different use cases, and the model still holds, right? And so Filecoin has really proved that out at scale. I, I think I invested in almost every predecessor to Filecoin, so I'm glad finally somebody broke through and became that sort of proof of the use case at scale, now rivaling the other big clouds. And so, you know, I'll just keep my comments super short, but, you know, this is sort of what I meant in 2014 when I said everything that can be decentralized will be decentralized, right? If you've heard that, that term, uh, that was in Coin Summit in San Francisco in 2014. I was on stage with Vitalik, and we were talking about sort of the inevitability of this ecosystem. And I just want to take a second to appreciate how far we've come, right? We've come from decentralized money to then having smart contracts. Now we've got decentralized clouds. Now we're pushing further and further up into the tech stack. So while it's been 10 years, you know, there are still a lot of use cases that we imagined back then that we still haven't gotten to, right? But we're starting to talk about today, whether it's decentralized gaming or decentralized social, we're just breaking into the part of the tech stack where we can even build those applications and really scale them with ease. So really appreciated the panels today. It was fun to hear everybody's take on how to build uh, decentralized applications, sort of all the tools that have come out. But, you know, from a DLTX perspective, you know, we're all about making that decentralization of everything a reality, right? That's our core focus. That's why we've decided to focus 100% on Filecoin. You know, we've looked at a lot of protocols, but we've come to the conclusion, you know, not only is it the best protocol for this particular use case, but in our mind, it's the most scalable and the best proven for what it comes to not only decentralized storage, but breaking into all sorts of new use cases. So for us, you know, this is sort of our way of saying, you know, we're 100% in on, on Filecoin. You guys may have seen our new website, dltnext.io. So this will be rolling out relatively soon under our main site. But this is our effectively rebranding solely focused on Filecoin. And our goal is sort of to be the Filecoin company out there pushing the edges, adopting as much of this new tech as we can, working with you guys to scale it up. So if you guys are building anything with liquid staking tokens, if you're you know, in need of a large footprint, we have a lot of petabytes of storage capacity. Love partnering with everybody. We've got four data centers around the world and just gonna keep pushing the community forward. So I'll keep it super short, but excited to be here with you guys today. And uh, yeah, keep being awesome. Talk to you soon.